Okay, we're uh, in an infestation of old world climbing fern in Collier County. We're in a uh, cypress dome. Uh, you can see the climbing fern growing probably 35 or 40 feet into the canopy. Uh, this is the dense rachis mat. Uh, this is the living part that's more on the outside. And typically up higher you'll see the fertile leaflets more in the sunny sections. In the foreground here, you can see it growing along the ground uh, over the native Avery sword fern. There's some swamp fern in here. Okay, Old World Climbing Fern, or Ligodium microfilum, is highly invasive to natural areas in Florida. It's uh, especially invasive uh, to cypress strands, cypress swamps, uh, cypress domes, uh, bayhead swamps, maple swamps. And it's a severe threat to uh, Everglades tree islands. Okay, Old World Climbing Fern spreads locally by uh, uh, rhizomes which grow just below the soil surface or sometimes right, right along the soil surface. And from each rhizome on the nodes, you can get a new rachis or leaflet coming up. Okay, an Old World Climbing Fern, the rachis, uh, which forms a dense mat, uh, the rachis is analogous to a stem and other plants. The rachis is uh, twisting and twining. Uh, as the plant matures, it becomes brown. On the living uh, old world climbing fern, the rachis is, is usually green. And, and this rachis mat has created a fire ladder uh, for fire to climb into trees such as bald cypress. Some of the key characteristics to look for uh, in old world climbing fern or a tangle of wiry, twining uh, fronds or rachis, uh, fern-type leaflets. The fertile leaflets of Old World Climbing Fern are similar size to the infertile leaflets, but uh, they're fringed with tiny lobes uh, of enrolled leaf tissue covering the sporangia along the leaf margins. The Old World Climbing Fern has spread uh, across Florida due to uh, thousands and thousands of tiny microscopic spores uh, that are released and they are blown in, into the wind and can, can spread miles and miles beyond uh, the distance from where they originated. They also can be carried by animals, uh, clothing of uh, workers and equipment. And the fern is rapidly spreading uh, throughout conservation lands in Florida and has become one of the most severe threats uh, we have today in natural areas.